another video here on loud and proud I'm going to be hopping in the cab of the truck for this video because as you can see it is a winter wonderland out right now and I've got wind and snow hitting me in the face hopefully you guys can understand why I don't want to keep the view out here even though I love it and it's gonna be a lot easier for me to film this inside the truck I've had a lot of you guys request and I wasn't sure whether or not I wanted to do it but I decided you know what what the heck let's do it let's go for it by the way real quick disclaimer if you are not interested in hearing a video that is all about the build of this truck skip on to the next one because this video is going to be probably an 8 to 12 minute video of simply talking about what's done to the truck and how much it costs us to build this regular cab Longhorn from the ground up. So let's dive into the topic of this video which is the cost to build the red truck, the regular cab and some of you might be kind of surprised by this number, others may be completely expecting of this but we're going to go through all of the details, all of the expenses, and all the costs to have a truck just like that one, and look just like that one, and drive just like that one, this is how much it's going to cost you, at least if you're in my area in terms of the cost of the truck, the cost to get the work done, and all of the above. These numbers are relevant to my situation, my area, where I'm at, what things cost to get done around us, but that's not like a set number that anybody's going to pay necessarily. But let's just say that these are the numbers that I had to pay to build that truck, to buy that truck, and do everything that we did to that truck, roughly what it might cost you if you're looking to do the same thing. Let's first start off with the truck itself. And of course that truck was a 1995 Dodge Ram 2500 with a 12 valve Cummins. And if you live in my area, which is in Northeast Indiana, to find that truck and to buy that truck, it had pretty much no rust to speak of other than there was a little bit under the doors and a little tiny couple spots on the bed that were starting, but not like eaten through. You couldn't like pop a hole through the bed. That truck with 125,000 miles on it, being a five-speed manual, a four-wheel drive that wasn't rotted out, but it needed paint work. That truck cost me $7,500. Pretty reasonable given the truck was in very clean state, a very clean condition. And then you have to add tax to that, which wrapped it up at about $8,000 is what I had for the truck. But let's just say $7,500 since taxes kind of depend on where you live, where you're from, what the rates are. So that's very variable. That, that really changes depending on where you are and the cost of the vehicle and all that stuff. Paint body work is going to be the most noticeable thing about that truck that just really grabs your attention and that was $5,500 because I knew a guy that knew a guy. I mean you might be able to find anybody that's a good painter to paint that for $5,500 but he told me that most people to do the job that he did would run you closer to eight than it would $5,500. You know of course if you go to Mako or wherever like a chain that just has all the equipment and booths and everything else like ready to go and you know you don't know how many different people might actually work on your truck throughout the process. Maybe they can do it for four grand but you're not going to guarantee the same paint quality and you're not going to guarantee that the truck was done the same front bumper to bumper for peace of mind sake go to a good painter make sure you know somebody who has a good reputation which our painter did bumpers alone were 650 dollars for the front and rear bumper with the front fourth gen bumper brackets radio and sound system you're looking at 750 bucks for a pioneer head unit with a flip up screen and then we also just did like some kenwood speakers in the doors lighting all around the truck that was 450 dollars for uh, tail light third brake light 
headlight setup and a light bar in the front bumper. That's the whole lighting kit on that entire truck was roughly 400 bucks for all that stuff. The weather stripping kit, I redid all the door seals because they were all just eaten up, chewed up, all the window seals, all that stuff. That was about a $250 kit. And again, that just kind of depends. Are you buying used parts that are in good shape? Are you buying them online? Were you buying them at a local store? It all depends on the pricing, but I order most of my stuff online just because it's easier for me and I don't want to run around town all the time because I order a lot of stuff and it would just make it a real pain in the butt. Front steering, steering box, steering shaft, front end, you know, ball joints, all that stuff. That whole shebang, that whole deal was $2,500 for the whole front end to be gone through. Could you not go 75 down the highway? and you don't need to have a hand on the wheel. And if it's a straight highway, it'll just go straight and just cruise. Like it is amazing. And that truck does have cruise and it works very well. The wood grain kit for the dash, that was $150, give or take. And then we're gonna go to the seats in the truck. The seats of the truck are gonna be a huge, huge factor of that build. That's what makes it the second gen Longhorn is because you could not buy that truck factory with brown saddle leather interior like what we have in that truck, which is authentic saddle leather. It's not cheap junk. The saddle leather interior installed new, you know, foam and cushioning put on the driver's seat and all that stuff. That was $2,100 just for the seats in that truck. Then we're gonna go to the carpet it was 150 bucks. The dash replacement on the top, the whole top part of the dash, because I had a couple cracks, I replaced all the top of the dash. That was $150 part and you can order that online as well. The leather wrap sun visors and headliner. I did the sun visors, I had a shop do them. The headliner I did myself, headliner. Let's just say it was maybe $15 of actual material. But that's because I bought a massive roll in bulk, which was way overkill. The sun visors themselves were probably, I think they were $101 or something is what he charged. Wheels and tires. Now, technically the wheels and tires that are on that truck already had them. Okay, so I didn't have to go out and buy them again. But if you were going to buy, and we're just giving you these numbers because even though I didn't have to go buy those for this truck, so this technically wasn't an expense to me for this build. If you're gonna build a truck and you want those wheels and tires on it, this is what it's gonna cost you. I think those tires were $375 a piece. They're Nittos, they're MTs. You're looking at 1500 bucks just for the tires and you're probably looking at another 1200 to 1500 just for the 22 by 14s bringing it to almost three thousand dollars just for that wheel and tire setup on that truck and then we're going to go to the next part which is the bed liner the bed liner i did myself if you want to have a shop do it you can they're going to charge you 500 to a grand just because well they usually do much heavier duty grade stuff they have overhead they have to pay employees all that other stuff and you don't have to do it it's convenience so if you want to have them do it it's going to be 500 to a grand but for me and I'm guessing a lot of you guys would do the same and just do it yourself. 125 bucks for a kit, which is actually pretty reasonable. Chassis saver on the frame. I did chassis saver front to back on that truck because we wanted to sand the frame, cure the frame, and chassis saver. And that's what we did. I, for one, know that in the north, that's important because that frame started to have a bunch of oxidation on it. And it came from out east, but they do get snow out there. So that truck was more of a farm truck on gravel roads and stuff, so it didn't get eaten up bad. But for a lot of the trucks up north, if this truck does stay up north, another good thing I want to mention right now, the winner for this truck will probably have been drawn and announced on my social media by the time you see the video. However, I'm filming this video ahead of time. Therefore, I don't technically have a winner in my position right now. But by the time this video goes up four days from now, which will be the day you see it now, there will probably already have been a winner announced probably on social media. So if you want to know who that was, or it might have been you, I don't know, go check it out at Loud and Proud Diesel Trucks, that's my Instagram, and on Facebook and Instagram, both, there should be an announcement by this time. Now we're getting to some of the last things. We did clear bra, which is about 12 inches along the whole bottom around, all the way around the truck. Devin Fry and a buddy of his did the clear bra on the truck to keep it from getting rock chips, gravel, and dirt, and all that stuff when you're going down the road. They also did the same two guys, Devin and his friend Taylor, tint on the truck, which is a 15% front back front is just the brow the side doors and of course the back glass that's 15 percent all around with a brow on the front and then that is where we come up with our grand total for this build and the grand total for this build just over twenty four thousand dollars for 1995 dodge ram 2500 with a 12 f cummins five speed manual four wheel drive and yes i know there's going to be somebody that's like oh my gosh that's too much money it's worth more than the truck you know how much money you put into it i understand that but in my situation my job is to try to make a super cool fun vehicle for one of you to own and that is the goal. So, although the truck is not worth necessarily 24 grand, depending on where you're at in the country, around here, that truck right now would probably sell for like 16 grand in a day 
if I put it for sale, but of course I'd lose like 10 grand on it. So I don't sell my trucks. I give, I give away my trucks, regardless of how much money's put into it. The objective is to give somebody a very mechanically sound, reliable and good looking truck. That is a good platform for them to be able to do whatever else they would like to do with the truck. Because of course that truck's going to be one of yours and it's going to come with $5,000, which is going to more than cover the taxes and registration on the truck and probably give you plenty of money to still do a couple other things to the truck if you want, or if you just want to pocket some cash, pocket some cash, but that's up to you. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys don't forget to enter to win the 73 power stroke because that giveaway ends on March 18th. 10x entries end on March 1st at midnight. So if you have not gotten your 10x entries, we are not going to run this deal again for this entire giveaway and there's not going to be an entry deal better than it. So if you want to get 10x entries, it's going to be ending March 1st. Every $5 you spend on the store will get you 10 automatic entries under the name, phone number and email you use when you place the order. That will get submitted times 10 only until March 1st, and then that deal will be gone for this giveaway. We're not bringing it back like we did for the second gen Longhorn on the last few days. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to enter to win the 7.3. Leave a fat thumbs up on this video. Comment down below, what do you think of the build on that truck? What do you think the cost and all that stuff? How do you guys like how that turned out overall? It is just unbelievable how much transformation took place in about the two months that we built the truck in about 60 days is how long it took us to do it from beginning to end. Couldn't be happier. Anyways, guys, thank you so much. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.